Ah, oh, we did. What the? Mm. But wait, there's more. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> farewell. Farewell, my sanity. Let's go. We're all the way up here. Okay, so that was a bad idea. Oh, that's a different. Oh, what a nice looking tree. Oh, hey, the old man. What? Granny. I can't believe you're gone, you old bat. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Sounded like you were saying goodbye in the last letter you sent me. This isn't fair. You didn't prepare me for any of this. Oh, piss off. Deal with it. What do you want to do? Apologize? You didn't even go to the funeral. Yeah. I'm just gonna not say anything here. Okay. There's there's not a right answer. Okay. It was selfish of me to come here. Ah, uh, you, you, you. Anyways. Whoa, dude, a bird. A freaking bird. Flip me the bird. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's go. Farewell, Granny. There's no music or anything, it's just rainfall. It's kind of eerie. Where are we going? We're, we're following the bird. It's part of Granny, just like you're part of me. Oh, yeah. That was just a bird. What the heck? Yeah. I guess. I mean, this is a bird. But, um, it's a bird. Come on. Just shut up and help me for once, alright? It's a bird, man. This is some Tower of Babel stuff right here. We're gonna end up in space? Dude, dude, dude. It's like that last part in Owl Boy. Oh my gosh, these are some spacey stuffs. So we're really high up. It's kind of hard to breathe. The mountain looks like a molehill. Why ain't you making a mountain out of a molehill? Anyways. I guess this is us making a molehill out of a mountain. How <laughs> are you even breathing up there? We can't let her down again. Listen, pal. You can't really let anyone down anymore. Maybe there's a way to bring her back. I have to do something. She's gone, pal. You can't bring back the dead. It's just something that you have to deal with. Oh, dude. I lose my second dash, huh? Don't worry, Granny. I won't lose you. Yeah, you're a bit too late for that, and you didn't even go to the funeral. Seriously. Dead people are dead. That's kind of how it works. Oh! That's nice. I can appreciate that. I like how the very first, even moderately difficult thing happens. And I immediately die. Um... Oh, okay. Yeah, that works. Cool. I really do wonder about why there's all this, um... Crap. Crap. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking there. I was like, I know, I'll do a, um... Um... Oh! I see. Okay, I already messed it up already. Again. There we go. And I, of course, I felt like I fall. I feel like I fell. There we go. I feel like I fell a bit faster there for some reason. Not entirely sure why that would be, but maybe... The gravity here, it seems almost as if it should be more odd than it is. But it's just not really all that weird. It ain't all that weird and wacky. I was expecting it to be more weird and wacky, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna... I have to go down to the bottom there? I suppose that might very well be. 
No? Okay. Um... Do I get to hold on to the second dash? No, I don't get to hold on to the second dash. Huh. So that... Oh! I don't know how I missed that. Okay, yeah. Gotta get the frickin' way to this brick down. everything wacky nowadays. Speak like... Oh, okay. Uh, yay! Two things that are falling in motion with lighting. This is gonna be easy! I keep not actually jumping too far away from the wall. Nice. This is very poggers. I think I really just have to... Grab on and instantly jump away. There we go. All right. Hmm. Got nose itches. All right. <laughs> I was gonna be fine, and then I did that. Okay, so maybe I was wrong, but whatever. Okay. No. Darn. Oh, do I? Oh, this is gonna suck a lot. This is gonna really suck a lot, you'll see. This is gonna fall, and I have to get hit by it. Okay. That is really gonna suck a lot. fish. Do they, do they only send at that weird angle? It, oh, is it only if I'm below them? That's interesting. I really do just love when they um, add new things into the game at the very end. But I suppose that's me prescribing this to be an ending as opposed to just even more in the middle. That's gonna be wacky. There we go. Ah, here we are. Oh, and you can hit that with this. Okay, cool. Oh, okay, that was almost really cool, but it wasn't actually cool and good. It wasn't cool and good the way that I figured it should be. Haha, <laughs> let's not go all the way back there. Yeah, wonderful. I'm very intelligent. Did I mention that I'm very intelligent yet? Haha, <laughs> just in case anybody forgot. Apparently I might actually have my medical file on me, um, as opposed to being in a cabinet somewhere uh, with either one of my parents. So I might actually have my psych about that they did when I was like um, uh, 12 on hand. And that means that I can prove analytically that I'm extremely intelligent, despite all of the stupid crap that I do. Which is, I can very well make the argument that it's stupid crap done out of intelligence, right? Even highly intelligent individuals do very dumb things sometimes. And then... Now I can mention that um, Albert Einstein couldn't speak till he was five or something like that. You know, that old adage. So it's not even really an adage so much as probably just actually true.
Oh, cool. Oh, well, you know, I waited too long. I was like, oh, good, I can just wait around here. And I couldn't. This is gonna be wacky. Come on. Oh, too far to the left, really? Right. Why can't I ever pick, like, the correct direction on accident? It's always the wrong one. That's wonderful. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's because I just played... I just played yesterday's episode of Yoku, like, like, 20 minutes ago. Not even. Uh, but I'm actually... I'm doing alright. So, yeah. I gotta say, you gotta appreciate the devs of Celeste for making a video about for making a video game about mental health that puts you in a poor mental state. Very, very interesting. Anyways, um, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna make it puff out for that long? Oh, this is gonna suck a lot. I don't know that I can make it really puff out. Oh, great. Oh, I, I think I get it now. Um, it's gonna be wacky, then. So what I think it is, is you go over here, right? And you go up here, and then, um, you dash up here. And then, there we go, yeah. Okay, that was a lot simpler than it, it would have seemed originally, I'm sure. Ah, I think if I had done a, a pure horizontal, that might have been fine. I, oh, I was about to say, oh dang, I make the same mistake again. And the fish almost saved me. Very, really would have been nice, but whatever. Okay. Oh, that's gonna suck. Watch this. Watch this now. Nope. Alright. God, it really gets close with how the fish works. Mm, yeah. I'm really taking my time on this one. Alright, I don't trust this danged fish. Here we go. <laughs> Actually, hold up. This seems like the kind of place that there would be something above. Or not. How about that? God, does this ever end? Well, it doesn't particularly need to end. What happens if I go up here? Nothing. Cool. Ooh, you know, that's gonna suck a lot. I'm really hoping that's not supposed to be a diagonal, because we... Ah, <laughs> we all know how I feel about directionals in this game. Oh, boy. All right. It's not bad. No, still not as bad as Celestial Resort B, sir. Nothing will ever be as bad as Celestial Resort. Alright? It's just very hard to do. I think I'm gonna try a downward diagonal, which is just like the worst thing in the game. It's my least favorite maneuver. Well, it worked out, and it was the first try, so. <laughs> That's gotta be the fastest I've cleared one of these freaking checkpoints in the later in the latter. God, it'll last forever. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, I think that'll be all for now. I'm really feeling it, but I can't wait until we get to the end. And this, and uh, Madeline's like, oh god, Brainy is actually straight up just gone, and this is straight up just a bird. Definitely true. I mean, the harsh realities of the world would be a good thing to teach in a game about poor mental health. Because as much as you may wish to have a kind and loving world, you still do have to deal with um, bad and negative events. And being able to deal with those is as much a part of everyday life 
as having good self-worth in what you are doing because the duality of the actions of the world around you is something that is entirely out of your control and the way that you respond to it is the only thing that you can control. Therefore, understanding that duality and having the proper response to either side is a very healthy thing. But that's just my two cents. For now, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'll throw you out of a mountain and into space. <laughs> then you won't be able to breathe, unless you're Madeline, because she can breathe in space, apparently. Uh, she can do a lot of things. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.